Russia's taken a very interesting approach, although I think the judgment is out as to whether it was successful or not. And that is that they didn't shut down the economy except for a month in 2020, and they kept the economy largely open. And so business, for the most part, was business as usual <clears throat> across all segments. Obviously, digitalization helped dramatically because those companies that were online, um, you know, paid, uh, people's behaviors, customers' behaviors were very much, even though they were allowed to go out, they stayed at home. And so because of that, we were able to accelerate our business, particularly direct to consumer business, very, very quickly over the last 12 months. But I would specifically say on Omicron, we only have two cases at the moment in Russia. Both of those cases uh, were uh, tourists that flew in from South Africa. Uh, they were isolated immediately, and we haven't heard of any new cases at this point in time. But I think, as everybody knows, Russia's been going through a very difficult, it was the most difficult month of October uh, in terms of uh, COVID from the start, uh, with the highest amount of mortality and death rates that Russia's ever seen. And so obviously it has not been able to escape the pandemic but it has been able to keep the economy open. Can I ask you then, I mean, obviously you've had a primary focus on growing your business digitally from the start. Um, and I think that's well understood in the market. You will have taken a lot of the low hanging fruit already. What do you think the potential is for you to scale further next year? Well, I think what's interesting about the uh, uh, um, fintech and insurtech industries that actually the two largest and most profitable fintech and insurtech companies, uh, I think in the world are actually in Russia, um, Tinkoff Bank uh, and Renaissance Insurance are both multi-billion dollar revenue businesses and both very, very profitable and growing exceptionally at high rates. And so if you look at most fintech and insurtech businesses, whether they be in Europe or the United States, they're still very much unprofitable, even though they carry these very large valuations. Whereas the companies here, which were started maybe a little bit earlier, uh, due to the nature of emerging markets that tend to adopt technology much quicker than developed markets do in many cases, the fintech world here really got going you know, nine years ago. And so today we're seeing the fruits of that, of those results, where you have both the largest Russian online bank and the largest Russian online insurance, Renaissance insurance, being very, very profitable already as it is. And so we're in a very unique position in that regard vis-a-vis uh, -vis a lot of our you know, contemporaries in Western Europe and the United States. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.